Ian, commiserations, you must be very frustrated about how that's panned out this afternoon. Yeah, very much like the last game, I think, against uh, Solly or Moors. Feels kind of the same, really. We, we dominate the game. I feel like we, the first half we have complete control, but um, we don't take the chances. We have a chance, you know, Ben Turner, a big chance, and um, Chicks has a good chance in the first half. We don't take that, and we're unpicked again. 46th minute, set piece, second wave, goal. So, yeah, really frustrating because even in the second half, I think we've total control of the game, but we're just not, we're getting to, we, we're playing well until the final third, and then we, we, we're just lacking that little bit of quality in the final third. So, obviously, you won't be happy with the result, but were you happy with the performance? Yeah, I mean, looking beyond the, the result, yeah, I would say in general, uh, certainly up until the final third, I think we controlled it very, very well. Um, but final third, I think we just need a little bit more chaos and, and uh, creativity in there just to, to, to try and open it up. I think we create the majority of the opportunities in the second half, but you know, we just don't take one and, and it becomes really frustrating them. How much does the sloppy play, giving away the ball far too easily at times, bother yeah. Listen, we try and play. We try and play, and we, we're not just uh, kicking the ball long. And we, we're trying to play, and we get the midfielders on the ball. Sometimes, the consequence of that is that we lose possession. Um, but we reacted well when we lost the ball. So, um, th there was a couple of sloppy bits in there. But in, in general, you know, the, the the game we have control of. It's always felt like a bit of a concern this season that the players are good enough to get it down and play and do what you want them to do and what your predecessor wanted them to do yeah. for a time in the game, but not consistently enough. Is that fair? I thought we did it for the majority of the game. Uh, obviously, the opponents are going to have times where they're on top as well. That's normal. Um, but uh, but no, I think for me it was it was the biggest case of once we entered the final third, the movements, the the runs, a little bit of creativity, um, bit of intensity when we get into the final third, and you know we don't we don't seem to catch a break when we get in there. Uh, does it feel like you just need maybe Kyle Wotton, for example, he's like nine or ten without a goal now. Does yeah. it feel like it's an issue of of confidence and belief in that final third that it is going to come? can be a bit of that but I think you know what you probably get a goal and then you, it's like anything you get two or three then you know we just kind of need to I think we need to catch that break and then when we do that I think the quality of the play will give us more um, but at the moment yeah maybe it's just uh, we're getting to that final third and we want it to be perfect we want it to be perfect and um, score a perfect goal and that's that's a, a difficult thing to do sometimes we have to put the ball in the in the box and, and create a bit more chaos in their penalty area. As you say, there's plenty of possession-based stuff around the halfway yeah. line. Um, and when you get into that final third, it seems at times that the players are just a little bit unsure of themselves or what to do. Are they, are they sure of what the instruction is in that final third? Yeah, we create chances. We create chances. I mean, the keeper's made three, four good saves. We have the block on the line from Ben Turner. We have the one just over the bar from Chickson. We create chances, but um, you know sometimes we're trying to create a perfect opportunity rather than maybe just taking a an opportunity to go one against one. And so yeah, we've got to work with the we've got to work with the final third. I mean, when I came in, the team was I think the lowest scoring team in the top eight or nine. So it's not a new situation that we haven't scored enough goals. This is something that's probably been a consistent thread. Uh, when we talk to the players, they're disappointed, but you know I think it's something. I think it's clear the area that we've got to to really drive now. Um, the goal that you concede yes. just before half time, terrible time to concede a goal yeah. a anyway, but in the second phase again, just like at Solihull on, on Tuesday night. Yeah, again, uh, second phase of a set piece, really frustrating. Um, you know, the ball lands to them, and I think Sam was struggling a little bit with his groin in the, in the first half, and maybe it was just a little bit slow getting down to that. But yeah, I mean, you know, that is really all they had first half. I don't, don't recall Sam Bailey doing anything in the in the first half so that's what they had um, and we didn't defend it well enough uh, you didn't have too many attacking options on your bench this afternoon the likes of Eli Sam and Ruben Rodriguez up in the stand Jordan Barnett there as well are there injury concerns there or is that tactical uh, no no injury concerns no so just out of out of favor perhaps at the moment yeah they need to do a bit more work and they, they need to show it in training every day I think the players that are pushing the hardest in training are going to be the ones that get around so we have to demand that so I think you know I want to see more from them every day in training um, because then they're going to be able to influence the games. You drop out of the playoff places um, mm. this evening and they said this evening this afternoon mm. um, how much does that bother you how much does that matter? Yeah I mean we don't we don't want to lose a game and drop out that's 
that's obvious, but I think there's a lot of games left to play. I think it just should give us a motivation now to, to go and chase and, and get ourselves back in there. Are you grateful of having a, a free midweek now? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, because it's been crazy. The schedule's been crazy. You know, it's um, so many games, such a short space of time. A lot of the games we've played, teams have like Solihull and Wrexham, they haven't had games, so we, we're doubling up. So th that's been demanding. Um, so I think it's great for a week now. You know, we can get some proper work done on the training pitch and focus on Torquay.